This video is a revisit of Page Curl. It was a good tip and so I, uh, I thought I'd revisit the, the uh, Page Curl filter. Now if you go to uh, GIMP documents on their GIMP uh, website on Page Curl, it shows the Page Curl but gives very little indication of what you can do with it. But there's one word there called selection and that's the giveaway. The, the rest of it doesn't give you any other tools you can use, just where you can place the, the page curl top or bottom. So we'll close that off. I'll just close the, go to the bottom of the page to show what I'm talking about. There's no more information at all So uh, on, on what I'm going to show you. So uh, I'll just close that off. Now, we can use any of those selection tools up the top there or the scissors. I'll go to the rectangular selection tool. Now this gives you complete control over where you want to put the page curl and its size. Now all you do now is just make a selection and just make sure it's over right on the edge. Go to your filters, down to distorts and then page curl. In the script it only gives you, or the filter, it only gives you the options of uh, where you can place it and your colours and the shading etc. But I'll leave it all at the default because uh, I just want to show you this little tip. Click OK and there's their page curl and to the size you wanted. It doesn't take over the whole photograph that you would normally use. Now to finish that off um, I'll just merge that down, merge down and then I'll open as a layer some background just to top off that corner on the corner there. There's a bit of text. I'll open that as a layer. This is just an image of a text. Move the text below the image, which uh, the down arrow there. Now that it's uh, on that layer, so we move the active layer and we go to the move tool and move the active layer and just move it underneath part of that text, part of the, uh, the image. That gives you the effect of the page curl. That gives you complete control over your page curl. Now I'll just close that off. Of course you merge down and finish that off and show you how you can also use it in other, other ways. I open a recent one and we've got a movie poster. Now you can use this idea on a scrapbook page with a, a photograph and once the image loads increase its size so we can see what we're doing 100% now we got now we got uh, we go to our uh, free select tool because it's a sort of a angle and we just click inside there 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 and there also that makes my selection go to filters once again you go down to the distorts and then you've got uh, page curl this time I'll move it up to the upper low, uh, upper right hand corner you just click on the, uh, the radio button there and it moves that page curl up to the top corner of that poster now I click OK now you can see the effect we go to select and we select none and then we click on it and merge down and there we have it we can we could got complete control over the page curl so uh, thank you uh, Noah for that uh, tip and I'm quite sure others will appreciate the uh, the power of that selection